So you guys, we're going back in time a couple days. The weather right now, not exactly great, which is why you're getting this video a few days late and why we aren't finished with the Celica. But I'm gonna flip you around, give you an update. This side's done all the way up to the front fender. We got the carbon fiber hood mocked up. I took that scoop off just because it was extremely windy out. Front bumper looking good. See one lip on the ground. Still deciding if I like yellow or just the smoked headlight. I'm really leaning towards the yellow. We got a thousand dollars worth of stuff ordered. Give you a little hint right there. Hey you, what? you need to be in my video. Oh. He told me this was me, but this is me. They call me Senor Elefante. All right guys, welcome back for another video. We're picking this back up about five days later. As you can see, it's beautiful outside now and man, oh man, we got a lot of stuff to do for the Celica today. So hopefully you can pick up some information on a little bit of body work. If you're trying to wrap your car yourself, whatever you're doing, rattle can. First off, we're gonna finish the C1 lip. So here it is right here. I'm gonna flip you around. So you can see right now that we have it all scuffed up. That's because when they ship these, they're kind of oily. Now, originally Bryce had taken this home the problem was even after he scuffed up the C1 lip, it still wouldn't stick. So we did a little research and Bryce actually painted his before he wrapped it and that let the wrap stick just a little bit better. So I got it all cleaned up. We used some Windex, which is right there on the trunk of the car. Shout out to Moore Motorsports. He is like the rattle can slash Rust-Oleum God. I learned that from him. Windex is a super awesome degreaser. So we use that, we clean this all up. So now we're just gonna shoot that with some Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover, which is awesome paint. One of the best affordable rattle cans you can get so let's get to it. All right, so obviously we're gonna have to hit that with more than one coat. I'm gonna bring you over here. We're gonna use some of this glazing putty to finish up the rear bumper here. So if you remember, this is a fiberglass rear bumper and there was a big crack in it. So I used JB Weld to epoxy that. And I'll flip you around and show you the couple low spots we have left to deal with where we're gonna use this glazing putty. All right, so right here, and I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up. You can see we just have a few minor low spots left. I painted it in this off-white just to kind of check my work. So we're gonna put some of this glazing putty over here and then we will come back and sand it down all right so I'm gonna be honest with you guys the car is stressing me out a lot right now and I mean that's how it's gonna be right the whole thing is torn apart I will go out and show you the trunk lid and the bumper we got some glazing putty curing on there right now over our JB weld which we use to do the structural repairs but here is one piece that I really wanted to address on the car you can see it's just kind of a chrome Celica badge this goes over the rear trunk handle and I've never been a fan of this chrome at all and white obviously isn't gonna match the car. So you're gonna have to bear with me. I have an idea for this, but let's see how it works out. All right, so this was our next piece on the Celica. Once again, this is the piece that's above the rear trunk latch. So what I did is I filled this all in with JB Weld. Again, I'm not a body guy, you guys, but I've dabbled and experimented and researched enough to kind of know what works and what doesn't. So JB Weld is actually super strong and it's just a lot easier to deal with than let's say a fiberglass Bondo resin. So I went ahead and I filled this in and I've sanded for about four 45 minutes now you can see where the letters are in there and you do have to sand up this fake chrome plastic quite a bit to get anything to stick to it so I did that you can see the original red paint behind there as well as the white on top and now I got to go over this with a little bit of glazing putty so we'll show you what that looks like once we get it on there all right so we got the glazing putty on that rear trim piece just like this bondo glazing putty i think this was five six bucks at napa you can get it at walmart this stuff is great because it's super easy to sand but here's where people make mistakes you do not want to use this where there are giant voids and huge low spots this isn't a filler it is glazing putty exactly like the name is so it's not super strong but it's very very easy to sand so like i said we filled that in with jb weld first again we could have used like a fiberglass bondo or bondo itself but the jb weld is just a little bit easier to work 
work with and I found that it's much stronger than Bondo. So I did that first, filled in the letters, we're shaving that just for a cleaner look on the back of the car. Then I went over it with this glazing putty and we'll sand most of that off once it cures. Behind me also is the C1 lip. We finally got a coat of satin black on there, four coats actually. So now the wrap will stick to that and we got the repair done on the rear bumper. So I'll flip you around and show you that. Once again, this was done with JB Weld. There was a giant crack in the fiberglass rear bumper. And then I did use glazing putty on this as well. Again, do not fill in giant divots with glazing putty. It'll crack and fall apart, but it's nice and smooth now. I just coated it in some black so I could make sure that everything looked okay. So the rear bumper is ready to wrap the C1 lip, and then we'll finish this up and show you what that looks like. All right, guys, it is currently the next day. We got the Celica behind me. And if you're new to the channel, you guys have been sleeping on this or deprived, I should say. Here is my 1987 Mazda B2000 first crank over in a year no battery charger popped right off she is absolutely minty and once this is done and we get back to the fox body of course then i have some serious plans for that thing i'm not going to tell you what but i think it's going to be freaking awesome so we got a lot of the little piddly stuff done i'll show you the mirrors because that's kind of what i finished last night um so yeah we just had all this little busy work to get done so bryce can come out and help us finish the wrap i had to fix that back bumper in the lip the mirrors are hanging right here behind me i painted them and and once we get it on the car and out in the sun and clear coated, then you'll be able to see this, but I'll try to flip you around and show you what I did. So you can see both the mirrors right there for the Celica and I put pearl in the black and obviously this is no clear yet, but we got a nice little flake in there. So I just kind of wanted to offset the Nardo just a little bit because we did the roof in that gloss black and now we will have the mirrors in black as well with a little bit of pearl in there. Should look pretty good. So you guys, on the agenda today, I'm going to finish up that little trim piece we were working on yesterday, shaved it down. I had to apply a little bit more JB Weld to the lettering, and I wanted to give it a full night to cure, so I'm going to finish that up. We'll show it to you. We'll shoot it with some black, and I'm also going to do the pearl on that as well, and then we'll show you how that turned out. All right, guys, so this last trim piece is going to take a little longer than I thought it would to finish it up. I have to wait for this glazing putty to dry, so I went ahead and used JB Weld inside all of the letters, just because I know it's more structurally sound, and it's not going to crack the glazing putty is just gonna smooth everything out and, and finalize you know the end of that piece so once that's dry and done I'll get it painted but this weekend has just been filled with a lot of busy work honestly carbon fiber hood we got some news on that coming up don't know if it's great or not but you guys will see that in next week's episode we dropped almost two thousand dollars on the Celica about a week ago I got coilovers coming wheels and I ordered that rear license plate backing from APR and none of it showed up this week so I was excited to show you guys that stuff but we had a lot of other stuff to do anyways so stay tuned for that i'm really excited to button this thing up hopefully now that i got all the busy work done we can get the car done in the next couple of weeks have it on some nice wheels and some suspension that it actually deserves so you guys thanks for tuning into this week's video if you like the video please do me a big favor and drop a like down below comment subscribe if you have not already and we'll see you next time